I don't listen anymore because my father said, I wish somebody had taught me that when I was nine years old. If somebody had taught my father that when he was nine years old, we would never have had to listen to some of the ridiculous racist remarks that he made. And he never made them again after he watched, he watched that film. Don't tell me that you can't change people. Don't tell me that you're too old to change. There isn't a person in this room who is too old to change. White folks, you gotta change. Because within 30 years, you will be a numerical minority in the United States of America. And you had better prove, pray, pray to whoever you pray for, to or for, that people of color are not going to get even with us and treat us the way we have treated them. If you can't think of, if you can't think of any other reason for treating people like equal human beings, think of that one. Because what you do today is creating the future. I don't think you want the kind of future that you have provided for people in the present. I may be mistaken. You may not know what's going on. You know what's going on. And if I asked you, if every white, well, every white person in this room who wants to be treated the way we have treated people of color in this, in this country, if you'd like to be treated that way, all you white folks, if you want that for the rest of your life, please stand. Did you understand the directions? <laughs> if you're white and you think blacks have got it so good in this country and you want to be treated the way they have been for the rest of your life, just stand up. You know why you aren't standing. You know it's ugly and you know it's happening and you know you don't want it to happen to you. So I want to know why you're so willing to allow it for others in this post-racial society.